Hi, my name is Jen. Welcome to my channel, All of My Plants. Today I am going to show you some Monsteras. I'm going to show you a few different varieties of Monstera, also of Monstera Deliciosa. So I'm going to start in the greenhouse, or well, I'm in here, but I will show you the portion that I recorded outside in the greenhouse um, because I'm losing light in here. <laughs> so then we'll come back here and I'll show you these. Okay, so we are in the greenhouse. Hold on, let me turn this fan off. It's gonna foof me the whole time. Okay, so we're in the greenhouse. I've done some some work in here. You, it, like if you've seen another video out here, I had a table set up here. Like, um, it was my patio table basically, like a bar style. Um, and now there's plants there, which is much more practical for the greenhouse. But anyway, we are out here today to look at Monsteras. I have a few out here. Um, I think they're all Monstera Deliciosa that I have out here. So there's the first one. It is just the plain green Monstera Deliciosa. Um, and it's all very juvenile because I actually cut it, cut it all the way back and took cuttings and I just stuck them in there. You can actually see one of the stumps down there. You see some that didn't make it. It was probably, I don't know, a dozen cuttings or so <clears throat> because my big one had thrips and it just looked horrible. Um, it was about five foot tall. <laughs> kind of broke my heart to chop it up, but at the same time, um, I was just over the thrips. So I just kind of chopped it all up, threw it in some water and let it sit there for a while. Then I let it callus, took it out, dried it, let it callus, and I stuck it in there. There's more in the house, but it's in LECA. You'll see that, at least if I remember. <laughs> Um, so that's just the plain green one. Um, let's see. Oh, there's another. This is actually a piece. It is also very juvenile. Just starting to get some fenestrations. From This was a um, Monstera aurea. Or, well, that's what this came from. Um, was the reverted, I thought reverted stump of my Monstera aurea. Um, but we'll see that it's not actually reverted. It's inside. We'll get to that one. Woohoo! I'm getting ready to knock plants over. Stay. Stay. Um, let's see. I think the others, all the others are over here. <coughs> so this is one of the Aria. Whether it's large form, small form, I couldn't tell you. It's less than a year old. Um, there's two. There is the very tight, um, internodal spacing. It's very tight. It's very hard to make a cutting of this plant. Uh, <clears throat> this one is probably one of the lower quality that I have from this plant. This is its newest leaf, which doesn't look to have any variegation, but nevertheless a beautiful leaf. It's kind of been this plant's pattern, or it had been previously, was this plant and every plant that came from it, you'd get, you know, a variegated leaf, a green leaf a variegated leaf, a mostly green leaf, a variegated leaf, a green leaf. So I expect that the next one that comes from there will have a little bit of variegation. Um, and then this was the top cut from my um, Monstera Albo when I cut it up because it gave me this all green leaf. Um, nothing new coming yet, but I just did pot it a few days ago. Um, because the roots were coming out of the bottom of the pot that I had the moss in. So that's one. And I had mentioned that I cut it another time. Hold on, let me dig it out. Pardon the Hoya. It's trying to flower. Let's look at that while we're here because, wow, it's so pretty. This is the angriest Hoya Carnosa Crimson. What are you, Crimson Princess? Yeah, that you'll ever see. But it flowers constantly. If it ever stops, I'm going to repot it because it's in desperate need of it. But I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon because we have five more umbles waiting to open. Yeah, but yeah, Monstera. Okay, so I've kind of just dug it out and plunked it on the floor down here. Pardon the trash and weeds and whatever. Um, it was very much reverting. Um, you can see some, there was some um, small amounts of Variegation, that was a nice little sectoral chunk. <clears throat> but we have, what, six leaves on this plant. Three are barely variegated and three are pretty much not. There is a tiny, tiny bit there. 
but not impressive. So, I don't know, we've got a new leaf coming here. We'll see what that looks like, I guess, in a few days. And a new one there. We'll see what that looks like. But yeah, well, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna get any better than this, but I, I did not want my whole plant to continue to grow like this, so that's why these are cut off. Um, the other cuttings are still inside. <sighs> And then back there is the other Monstera Aria. This one is doing much better as far as variegation goes. I think, I think every leaf on this particular one is variegated and it's, you know, um, in both hemispheres of the leaf. And there's, this is the newest one here and it's uh, got another one coming back there already. So, and that one's not fully hardened off, mostly, mostly. That's probably the finished product. We're close enough to it. I think this leaf isn't variegated, actually. No, it's not. So it has one of its <coughs> one of its uh, five leaves, six coming. It's not variegated, and like I said, this is less than a year old. And if you'll notice, the internodal spacing on this one came from the same stock, but it's a little bit like there's actually a little bit more room there. Like you can see here, this is going to be a pretty large internodal spacing there. So I don't know, but I think I think that might be all of the monsters I have outside. Don't have many out here, like I said. It is a million degrees out here. Whew, it is hot. It is overcast. <clears throat> it is very overcast, but very humid. Let's see. This is pushing 90, pushing 30 um, Celsius. So, yeah, it's pretty warm. I don't know what the humidity is. But I hear rumbling in the distance, so we're about to get some storms. The humidity, it looks like 59%. The temperature doesn't work. I got it wet. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to go back inside and look at the ones that I have in there. Honestly, how rude of me. I forgot this one. This is um, Monstera Standiliana Albo which um, it's lovely. It needs a little bit of attention. You can see this piece here just kind of flopping forward. It's not even on the, oh God, if I can get it out of the floor. Not even on the support stake. There we go. Yeah, that's her. I took some cuttings from it recently. So that, that leaf there, the big white stripe, or I guess it's cream right now. That's a new one. Um, the other, the, yeah, that's actually coming from where I cut it. So that's cool. Um, I can't remember where I took the other cutting from, but I have a few of them, so. Yeah, this is this one outside. I just put it out here a few days ago. So, you know, it's, it's doing. It is doing. That's the newest leaf on that. They always look like they have some sort of damage to me, but there's never any pests on it. I don't know, maybe it's just dirty. <laughs> Hasn't been sprayed off yet since it's been out here. And this is my Creeping Charlie. I don't know what the actual name of it is. It's just a local name, we call it. <laughs> my weed. All right, anyway, inside. Okay, so that's what I have outside. Not much. I don't think, I think I got them all that are out there. I always miss one or two of everything I try to show you. Um, but I think I got all the ones out there. <laughs> Let's start with the ones in here. This poor sad thing here is my Monsteria Dubia Dubia. I, I call it dubia. I don't know if that's right or wrong. Um, I know. It, it really needs sorting. Sorry, the light's not great. Some weird lighting today. It is very dark and kind of stormy outside. So yeah, it was growing up just fine. I think I got it. It was just this one leaf down here when I got it. I've had it almost a year, believe it or not, this poor thing. And it's done a run now with little teeny, little teeny leaves. Um, it just needs to be sorted out. This is not uh, how this wants to grow at all. And I've kind of just stuck it in here. It needs re repotting and all that. So I'll get to that. Um, it did grow quite a bit at first. Like it's clustered around <laughs> that portion. <laughs> and uh, it did okay. But um, yeah, it's, it's not happy. So I am gonna sort that out and, and like put this on a proper plank, I think, <laughs> eventually. 
This is the base of my monster elbow that I hacked up. There is a video where I did that. Um, this was the node that I said would probably activate first and that I would free once it had a leaf or two because it has a root um, of its own. This was the original leaf. It was also shipped to me with this leaf um, last year. So I'm gonna free this and fix this soon, but that is a nice leaf. There's nice variegation there. Um, all on one, one hemisphere of the leaf, but nevertheless, it is at least variegated. So yeah, but that's that one. And I'll just show you like whatever the babies I can hold <laughs> or the propagations rather. I don't think any of them has put out a leaf yet. I'm pretty sure. I believe there are four propagations of this plant total. Um, they're all still with us. None of them. Can I get that to focus maybe and not be so weird lit? Uh, let me set this one down. This one here took a hit. I kept uh, letting it dry out a bit. Um, but, you know, a little crispy on the edge there. But it's okay. Um, this one here is starting to push. If we can get the light right there, a little growth point. Um, no roots coming out of the bottom. I haven't pulled this one out to check it or anything. It's just kind of doing its thing. This one here, however, has roots everywhere sticking out all over the place. I guess we can kind of see the roots in there. One sticking out there. That one there jumped out and then decided to die back. They're kind of starting to wrap around the bottom and stick out of the holes in the bottom. Maybe you can see. Um, but I don't see a growth point on this one yet, do I? Let me make sure I'm not telling you tales. No? Uh, and no. No, I don't see this one growing yet. But I have faith that it'll happen soon. I probably, this is so well rooted, I'll probably switch this to soil even though it doesn't have new growth um, because it's gonna be fine. I mean, it's gonna grow. Actually, I might put this one in pond. Maybe we'll try one of these in pond when I get around to repotting them. <laughs> Back over here. But yeah, there's two others. They both look pretty much the same. One has some roots coming out of the bottom. One does not. Um, one I think might be a zombie leaf. I'll, I'll show you the zombie leaf. <clears throat> the, the one I think is the zombie leaf is also the one that has some roots coming out of the bottom already. Um, it was the one that it had already been cut from there and grown from that node. Um, so I'm looking and I don't see anything going on there. I don't know. As long as it's alive, I won't give up on it. Because it might do something. It might not. I don't know. But it does look like there's another little bit of node here at the top of this one. I'm not certain. We'll see. <clears throat> This was the Monstera Peru that I just got. It is still doing very much the same. It is actually still growing, which is better than my other one. That's one I forgot, it's outside. <laughs> Doesn't look like much, it's just kind of sitting there. Uh, actually, I think it did put out one leaf since I put it outside, there's another one there. I did change the soil on this, but I just put it right back in the same pot. Um, it's all very well rooted. Um, just the soil was staying very wet. And um, every time I watered this plant, it seemed like more of it would kind of start to look nasty. But I think we've remedied it now. So it's looking pretty good for now. And then this was the Monstera that looks very much like a Peru. Uh, I think it's Pinata Partita. Is that right? Let's look. Yep, Pinata Partita. Um, so, I mean, it's looking pretty thirsty. <laughs> no, it's looking pretty good. It's doing what it's supposed to do. I really need to get it, um, I guess on a pole or a stake or something. Maybe a plank. I don't know, but it, yeah, it's, it puts out new leaves pretty regularly. This one here is much less fussy about water, um, for me anyway, than the Peru. So... So far, I haven't had a moment's issue with this other than maybe I should clean it occasionally or hose it or something because it's a little dusty. 
but it's doing good. Not much to say about that, no change. <laughs> Nothing horrible has happened to it. And then this here, I think it was tagged Monstera laniata. And I don't know if that's any different than um, Adansonii wide form, but that looks to me to be basically what this is. And this one was variegated. It had yellow variegation. Not a single leaf does now, because what I did is I cut it back to um, there, actually. I cut it back to try to get better variegation. I think I killed every single cutting. No, actually there's some in some terrariums and stuff, but they don't look, um, the variegation didn't improve or anything. I'm looking and I see not one single variegated leaf left. It's not even in the stem. <laughs> but anyway, so this is uh, one of few plants that I actually do have on a moss pole. Um, and it's been that way for quite a while. Like I said, I did cut it back, but it's growing. It's beautiful. But my only problem with these guys is thrips seem to find them when I put them out. They love them and that's why this one is in the house. Very dusty, very dusty, dusty, dusty. But a lovely plant nonetheless. And it will actually grow into the pole pretty quickly, which I don't think it is right now. Um, pretty quickly if it's outside, I think the humidity, I don't really, I don't really attempt to keep poles wet outside. I think just the humidity seems to do it because I don't really do anything to them. <laughs> and then this is the other, the mother plant, believe it or not, this is, of the Monstera aurea that are outside that I showed earlier. They were, um, I think I had three cuttings. It was three leaves that I cut off and I made each leaf a single node, you know, a single node cutting, single leaf cutting. And I sold one of those and the guy messaged me and he was like, hey, so like, I want to propagate this. How did you, how did you propagate yours? And basically, long story short, he asked how this was doing. And I thought it had reverted because this was the only leaf left on this plant. It has some, some variegation, but then when it started to grow, this was the first leaf of the, the last leaf. They're all green. So I was like, oh, well that reverted, uh, you know, just heads up that could happen. But then, uh, I don't know, maybe a few weeks ago, <laughs> I guess it's maybe been a month or so now, this one came out. <laughs> and then this one, so it's just, this is just another offshoot um, with, are we focusing? Sorry. Get around there. Uh, which has spectacular variegation. And then there's another leaf here coming. So <clears throat> I guess if he messages me back, I will have to tell him. But yeah, so I hope his is growing well. He said it was growing well. I hope the variegation is good. I told him, um, I was very upfront with him at the time. I was like, yeah, this is like, <laughs> usually half of it grows variegated, then the next leaf is, and then one leaf grows and it is. So I have one now that I, I, I think I showed it is mostly variegated, one that's mostly not, and then this guy. So we'll see what this this does in the future. And then this is one of my favorite Monsteras. I have showed this before. It was on one of my favorites. It is um, Monstera Siltipacana. Does that sound right? Yes, <laughs> Monstera Siltipacana. It was in a smaller basket, but I just repotted it maybe, I don't know, a month ago. And it's doing great. Like, I still love this plant. A lot of the leaves are not that silvery anymore. Um, some of them are. They kind of, you could mistake this for a sable blue poth pothos, um, except for the texture. But I love this plant <laughs> a lot. It's a very good one. It's very easy going. Um, I grew this from, I think, I think when I bought it, it was like four leaves. And I, I just chopped them into single node cuttings and stuck them in a pot. And I've propagated it a few times since. I've also traded some, of, I mean, it grew like crazy. So I've traded some of it, um, given some of it to a friend. I think I might've sold some of it. And I have another small basket of the same thing hanging in a different room, <laughs> so. A small pot, but it does really well. Love it, easy. 
very easy. Yeah, it's on par with like taking care of the hanging baskets of philodendron or pothos or anything like that. And then I have this one, which I just got in February. I think it was like three leaves when I got it. It's done okay. It's putting out another leaf right now. Um, this is subpanata, Monstera subpanata. And I really do like this, like, I don't know, the fingery leaves. It just, total tropical vibes. And I'm hitting the ceiling. Um, it's grown really, really well. It has not grabbed this pole, I don't think. Although it does have some aerials that are kind of right up against it. Like adventitious roots. But yeah. Um, new leaf growing. You can kind of see where some of the aerial roots are coming out of the stem itself and not the node. Um, this one here is doing great. I love it. I'm probably going to propagate it soon because, I mean, rather than have this one piece coming out of here, it would be kind of cool to have, like, have it look like a, just a shrub. <laughs> so that's probably what I'm going to do. But yeah, it's a good plant. And I'm pretty sure that that is actually my entire Monstera collection. I'm going to do um, a philodendron show and tell, philodendron tour, um, sometime very soon. Um, it's probably going to be a several part video because the majority of my collection is philodendron. Um, and there's, uh, I dare say, a few hundred philodendron. <laughs> so, <clears throat> we will get to that in the future. But thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Thank you for hanging out. And come back and check me out again soon. Thanks. Bye.